So I have a topic for today. Um, yeah. Since you're like a lead layout, lead layout guy now, um, yeah. I was going to ask what what are some things that you look for in a junior, like a junior animator, or even like a junior junior position? What junior position? Yeah. That's what does question. the industry What does the industry look for in a junior artist? I think um, it's different than what people have come to think. <laughs> yeah. You know, like a lot of the times you see like juniors do like dragons and animate like, you know, like these crazy fight scenes and, and stuff like that. Yeah. But then they get in the industry and then it's like, they you'll never get like a dragon shot, you know, yeah. as a junior. Sure. Yeah. Like hands down, like you'll, you'll never get like, like a crazy beast, um, um, what do you call it? Like um, action Hero scene. shot. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Like if you get a dragon shot, it, it might be like the dragon turns his head and, mm-hmm. and like moves the tail a little and that's it. Yeah. And yeah. So like what I think what people actually want to see when they want to hire you is if you can do everything else <laughs> but the dragon. You know, yeah. you can work sure. your way up to the dragon, but you yeah. need to have everything else. Um, yeah, you know, like in your tool in your tool belt. Yeah, before you can even like get that chance. So I think people need to to have everything else. Like, I guess that's, that's what a, I look for everything else other than the dragon. Yeah, and I think that's the expe- like maybe it's an expectation versus reality thing. Um, I guess yeah. when you're working on your show reel, you're doing the hero shot everybody's animating what they want to animate but in reality when you get hired you really like don't really get that shot until later because you you have to think about it like leads and supervisors they have to cast these shots right and they have to feed people and it makes more sense to feed the people that they're paying more you know um so yeah, and probably they, you don't have, like, as a junior, I don't think juniors have that skill yet. What kind of attribute do you think is really important? It's a little different for layout than it is for, yeah. for animation. But like, I think when it comes to animation, it's, um, I, don't know, I think it's just a good, um, it always just comes down to like how their shots look. So like, you know, when, when you have two juniors, you know, in the same team and they're kind of doing the same kind of work. If, you know, one's faster and and looks better, Mm -hmm. has like a better feel, like intuition and whatnot for what the shot needs, then you you automatically like, oh, this guy is like, he's pretty good. Because, you know, you kind of have a bar to compare with. You're like, oh, this other guy, he's not as good. Not that he's not good. It's just that, you know, he's a junior. So you you don't expect amazing things. But when, when they do cool things and you're like, oh, wasn't expecting that from you yeah uh, that's when you kind of take notice you're like oh this guy's this yeah good. so i think yeah it's just good intuition good good speed yeah you know things that um you don't really expect out of juniors yeah but that, i guess like what like it kind of leads me to i guess you know i think yeah skill of course is beyond like probably the number, well, I would say, yeah, it's pretty high priority, right? Because, like, this industry yeah. is all performance-based. Um, but if you had, like, let's say those two juniors, right? Uh, maybe one's worse than the other. But the other one has a way better attitude or way more, or, like, is more team-oriented. How would you rank that? Like, who would you, I guess, who would you guys hire? Or who would you hire? Yeah, well, that you know, that's like a no-brainer. Like it'll be the one, the one who's easier to work with, like the team. Yeah, the one who's like ready to like, you know, take one for the team kind of thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, that's that's kind of no-brainer, but it's it's a hard it's a hard thing as well. Like if one is significantly more skillful than the other, yeah, then that changes things a little bit, right? Yeah. So it's it's kind of like hmm. This guy can like. This guy can really outperform the other guy, so yeah, you know, it would make sense financially mm-hmm. to keep the other guy on. It's yeah. a tough one. 
but like mm-hmm. it definitely levels the playing field having like a good personality yeah not as good like it, it's a lot more incentive yeah that's I think I just was... being in a like being a lead now like when i think about like okay we have x amount of shots that we need to do you know um especially during the pandemic you don't really get to like hang out with the people you don't really get to see them and talk to them yeah but if it's like oh i have x amount of shots that i need to oversee i need to get through i i kind of want the guy who can like crush all the stuff that i throw at him you know rather yeah. than the one that that's like oh yeah it's like really easy to work with but i don't i don't know if is as reliable that's in v effects though i don't know about animation in v effects it's like, yeah well i mean know, that's things what, are on fire every day that's why i asked like um because when i was at a certain studio it was i always believed that you know you maybe because i was that way like where i wasn't like super talented or anything so i always figured oh, okay if i just work hard enough for him a team player like the skill would come or it would develop and i think that's um that's what i always hold on to but when i went to a certain vfx studio um i I remember i had this conversation with the suit or the head of animation and saying it's all performance based i don't care whether you can teach or whether you can whatever you have to have the eye and you have to be the best animator in the room in order for you to you know be hired and i was like I don't know. I feel like that goes against with what I what I personally think because, th- like, this is again not. Th- I guess it's not related to juniors, but certain roles have certain skill sets, right? And part of being a lead is you have to be able to teach and communicate effectively as well. So you can't just be like, "Oh, you're the best animator in the room," and then neglect everything else, right? So. Yeah, like, and I feel like in animation studios, like feature animations, animated studios, that matters a little bit more than maybe in VFX, where you have to be someone that the right attitude and easy to work with. I feel like yeah. that sort of takes precedence over... I think it just comes down to, yeah. like, yeah. the differences. Again, it, it comes down a lot on the differences on the... Um, yeah. on the the just the nature of um vfx versus animation like where yeah. vfx is such so tight everything is on a deadline you have to get things done yeah um all the time so there's there's never any time to breathe really yeah not much time anyway yeah um at least in the vfx studio that i'm in mm-hmm. so i think there's a skew towards performance because mm-hmm. because of that it's like oh we do need people who can perform and it yeah. is more valued at times than the yeah. than the rest of the qualities. But I agree with you. I think like it's a lot more than just performance. Like you can't just yeah. be a really good animator and expect to be a lead. You have to be yeah. an effective communicator. You have to be like really good mm-hmm. organizationally. People have to like you first of all. Yeah. You know, because it's hard to tell anyone to do anything if they don't if they don't like yeah. you. Yeah. So I think yeah. that's those are very important things and um not all the time it's like the case and it should be more of the time like people who are in lead position should be more mm-hmm. likable more approachable yeah. all those kinds of things yeah but yeah it's just the the nature of the effects whenever i look at a junior or whenever i think that this junior has a potential is when of course like of course you have that like we said performance but if they have the right attitude i tend to I'm able to look 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 past what they're lacking in terms of animation right now because you know people it clicks for people at different at different times right and I think for the most part juniors you know they're new to the industry so there's a like it's expected that they have flaws in their game but if they're you know if they have the right attitude and constantly trying to learn that's what matters more to me than someone who's like, you know, let's say they're really good. They, they can probably be not a junior, but they, there's a sense of cockiness about them or like they're, um, you know, complaining all the time, which actually a lot, surprisingly a lot, a lot of people do. Um, yeah. 
That's actually I, one of like my pet peeves, like people yeah. who complain a lot. Yeah. <laughs> because it just like brings like the whole morale down. Like yeah. even if it's like small things, like oh, I'm complaining about how slow my computer is. I mean, everybody yeah. in the studio is dealing with the same thing as you. You know, yeah. so like you're not the only one who who have these issues. So, exactly. you know, if you if you start complaining about all these things, it's just gonna like, it's just gonna affect everyone. All yeah. of a sudden, people are gonna be like, ah, my computer is really slow. Like, and, yeah, and, and then it, you know, people stop like focusing on the the important things like trying to get the work done and and sometimes exactly. like computer being slow does affect you but you know just you just gotta get, like push through it, it, fix it yeah yeah get you know get help if you can but complaining doesn't doesn't help anyone it doesn't do anything yeah it's like a net negative in yeah the long run yeah but yeah just back on the um the whole junior thing I, you mentioned something like yeah you can like give them work and then you know you like hopefully you don't have to hold their hand too much that's a, a good sign yeah. of a junior like they can take the initiative yeah but i think like a big thing is like they need to be able to learn so that's an yeah. important one i think now when i think about it it's like when i show a junior something i kind of expect them to to remember it for the next time they need to do it yeah so if i have to keep showing someone the same thing over and over again and yeah. to me that's like that's not a good thing because then it means like they're just taking up my time you know yeah so if i show them something maybe i show them like once or twice and if they can if it sticks with them and they can continue to do that thing then it means i've saved myself time in the long run yeah you know they're, yeah. they're not taking sucking my time anymore because the biggest problem is like whenever you hire someone new like it's it's they're helping you out but they're also taking time away from you so in yeah. the end like when they when they're new they end up taking more time than they save mm -hmm. because it yeah. takes them time to learn things like the pipeline and all this stuff yeah so like the hope is that like once you hire them you know they take up time in the beginning so it's a bit of a time investment in the beginning but it saves you a lot more time in the long run but if you're teaching them these things and they're not learning it, then they won't save you that time in the long run. They'll just keep sucking your time. Yeah. So yeah. that's a big one. I think it's like yeah. you just need to be able to keep learning and like remember and, and be able to execute on the things that you know, you've learned in the past. So Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think like, yeah, it's uh, you have to as a lead or like I guess even a senior when you're when you're teaching some someone something you're losing out that time and i guess people don't really consider that and it's more like it is frustrating when if you're teaching the same thing like you said like three or four times and then it's like yo, know, are you even really listening like it makes you start questioning that you know whether they're listening whether they're really paying attention to the time you've spent on them trying to teach them something right and yeah i think that's a big part. Yeah, that's a big part of having a success, like success as a junior, I think. Yeah, because um, you don't have to yeah. be like the best at anything yeah. when you're a junior. You just yeah. need to be able to keep learning. And I think if people who are like um, your leads or your soups can see, oh, yeah, this kid's actually, he's learning, you know, he's, he's getting better like every day. Yeah. He's getting better like, you know, after each movie, after each show, mm -hmm. you can see like a lot of improvement. Then, then it's kind of like, oh, you know, like he's someone to keep because he's just going to keep getting better. But yeah. If someone just, you know, stagnates, like you teach them a few things and then, you know, they learn, but then they kind of stop and then they're not really growing as, as like an animator. Then it's kind of, well, you know, should we really keep this person? Because he's yeah. making a room for somebody else who can actually keep growing and can keep exactly. getting better. Yeah. For all your juniors out there, no one's expecting anything from you other than to yeah. learn. And improve just to keep learning yeah positive and attitude then, yeah, and don't... do what you're told like you know um we're not trying to don't try to make anybody's life any more difficult um yeah yeah so yeah i think like it's that's sort of ask questions i think like maybe a yeah. lot of juniors are scared to take up the time like just yeah. scared to like say like hey can you help me out with this one thing mm -hmm. and it's fine to actually ask 
but it's just yeah. important like when you do ask it's like you when they show you something you gotta like you gotta write it down or something to remember yeah, you retain it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. especially with layout because layout is so technical at times yeah um, you know like i'm showing like a lot of different things like oh how to relink a mm -hmm. camera projection map or something yeah you know that's that's not something i want to have to show like every like month you know because mm -hmm. it does yeah. take time it, it takes like half an hour like yeah. the other day i had to show it how to relink a camera projection to yeah. to a different um camera and then change the, the camera projection plate yeah and then it's stuff like that it's like i had to sit down for like 30 minutes you know going step by step okay now you take the camera message connect it to like you know the link camera and the, and the yeah. node and all these things and then if i have to show that again that's like 30 minutes of my time again that's like yeah it's a lot of time and if i have to show that like three four times i just lost two hours of work and when you're in vfx two hours is is like right. an insane amount of time it's yeah you know i could have done like four shots by by the two yeah. hours so yeah. it definitely there's a need to be able to learn quick i think what he, there's there's a term like uh, it's like learning agility or something like that i think okay. that people are saying learning agility is valued more than high iq and all this other okay. stuff it's because yeah. um and this is across all industries is because you know you need to be able to learn quick and mm -hmm. and uh, that just saved everyone time in the long run. i don't want people to feel discouraged because even like i swear to god even last week as a you know even though i'm a senior I ask a lead something and I don't write it down, you know, and I ask the same question and I'm sure <laughs> in the back of his mind, he's like, why doesn't he write it down? You know, and it's about pre-roll. Okay. It's about pre-roll and it's really silly. It's a really stupid question, but you know, it just, it happens. But if for the most part, if you're percentage, like if you're not doing it for the most part, you you should be fine. And if you make it up yeah. in other ways, you, you should be okay. Um, yeah so but, i think the end the, the what is the end goal is to like take up less time than yeah than you give basically yeah so yeah. if you get if you're saving them like everyone time then yeah you're, you're net positive but yeah. if you're like taking away time from everyone then you're net negative so yeah. you always want to be in a situation where you're like you're net positive in, in the mm -hmm. grand scheme of things yeah. And I think you're definitely net positive. So like you, you're like doing so much for like the team. You're just doing things that like save a lot of time in the long run. And I think people could see that and they're like, they really appreciate that. Like all well, the, the upper, yeah, the upper suits and, and all those people. Well, I think it's, uh, you try, I, I always approached it even when I was a junior, I think, especially when I was a junior is to always be curious to learn and if i don't have an answer and it's weird i only apply this for my job i don't apply this for it <laughs> anywhere yeah, else in my life um, as in i'll only focus on as in I'll, I'll go out of my way to research um the answers you know and sometimes like for example if i don't know how to create something in maya i would go out and i'll research how to do it and it, and I told you this personally, like after a while, all those little facts that you researched all come together and everything just clicks, clicks into place. And now you don't need to ask anybody anything. Usually you can just like do it all yourself. Yeah. You've figured and I think, it out. Like yeah. things like constraints and all those like random things. Yeah. That... yeah. I mean, you also need people who are good at teaching to teach you or, and you need to have, you know, the good resources which is like YouTube and all that stuff. But I think if, as long as you have the curious curiosity to learn and not be arrogant about it, people can feel that and people can see it. And I think that's what makes you stay in the studio. And that's what makes them feel comfortable with extending your contract. It's cause yeah, you're, you're willing to learn. Um, yeah. I think, yeah, yeah, I think that's, it really just comes down to that when I think about it yeah um you you need to be good enough to get hired but then to stay yeah. is really all the those other things we were saying like good yeah. personality and, and learning yeah
Thanks for watching or listening to our content. If you like what you saw, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks again. Peace.